study with Patus. We will be studying of each standard of chapters based on CBSE syllabus. So today we are going to learn the first chapter of 8th class English. So let's start. The first chapter is called the best Christmas present in the world. We all know what a Christmas is. Christmas is the holiday and the jolly event which we spend time with others. And it is the birthday of Jesus Christ. So it's a jolly time. So here it is told the best Christmas present in the world. I'm sure every one of my friends had presents and gifts and all, right? So let's start. In this chapter, this chapter's author is Michael Morferg. The best Christmas presents in the world is the story of Michael Morferg. So let us tell about the spellings. Michael M I C H A E L. Michael Morferg. M O R P H U R G. Michael Morferg. So let's start the chapter. In this chapter, there are some main characters. I'll tell you who the character is. First of all, the author, Michael Morphog, and second, Jim McPherson. Jim McPherson is a soldier. He is a British soldier. And Connie McPherson. Connie McPherson is the wife of Jim McPherson. And then Hans Wolf. Hans Wolf is a German soldier. This chapter or this story is based on the first world war which started on 1914 and ended on November 11, 1918. But in history books and all it is told 1990. Okay, so let's start. First, I spotted it in a junk shop in Bridport. A roll top desk. The man said it was early 19th century and oak. I had wanted one but they were far too expensive. This one was in a bad condition. The roll top in several pieces, one leg clumsily mended, scotch marks all down one side. The other, Michael Morferg spotted a roll top desk. A roll top desk is a kind of desk which have a sliding top, which have a sliding top. I shall show you the picture here. Look, this is called a roll top desk. Hope you all understood. And the man, the seller, the seller in the junk shop. The seller in the junk shop said it was early 19th century. It was on the 19th century and it was made of oak. What is an oak? Yes, an oak is a tree and it was made up of that wood, oak wood, okay? And the other had wanted one, but they were far too expensive. They were really expensive. The roll top desks was really expensive. And the one he saw in the junk shop was in a bad condition. A bad condition. The roll top in several pieces, the sliding cover in several pieces, and then one like clumsily mended. What does it mean by clumsily? Yes, awkwardly, not in like an awkwardly level. It's made in an awkwardly level. Okay? And then scorch marks. What does it mean by scorch? Yes, a scorch is a burn marks. A fire has burned the roll top desk. Scotch marks all down one side. The one side of the leg. There were many scotch marks. So the roll top was going for very little money because it was in a bad condition. So the author really had wanted it. And if we wanted it, it would be a risk, a challenge. He want to restore it. What does it mean by a restore? 
What does mean by restore? Restore means repair. The man had to repair it, but it would be a risk, a challenge. So, but the other thought I had, I want one. So he thought he paid the man, the seller in the junk shop. He paid the man and then bought the roll top desk and put it where on the back of his garage. What does it mean by a garage? A garage is a place on the back of a house which they uh, place things, all things or cars. Okay. So he began, the author began work on it on a Christmas Eve. I removed the roll top completely and pulled out the drawers. The veneer had lifted almost everywhere. It looked like water damaged me. Both fire and water clearly taken their toll on this desk. The last drawer was stuck fast. I tried all I could to ease it out gently. In the end, I used brute force. I struck it sharply with my fist and the drawer flew open to reveal a shallow space underneath. A secret drawer. There was something there. I reached in and took out a small black tin box. Cello taped to the top of it was a lined note paper and written on it in a shaky handwriting. Jim's last letter received January 25th, 1915. To be buried with me when the time comes. I knew as I did it that it was wrong of me to open the box. But curiosity got the better of my scruples. It usually does. So, the second para. I removed the roll top completely. The roll top, I think you know the roll top, what is a roll top is. And I completely pulled out of the drawers. You know, he completely pulled out of the drawers. The veneer is like a decorative wood or plastic which is used in tables and all. The veneer had lifted almost everywhere. The veneer had been out on almost everywhere. It looked like the water damage to me. There was some damage and it was by water. Both fire and water have clearly taken a toll. What does it mean by clearly uh, taken their toll? Yes, taken their toll means have done some damage. Have done some damage to the drawers and the table. So the last drawer stuck fast. The last drawer was really stuck in tuck tight. And the other have really tried to ease it out or pull it out gently. But at the end, I used brute force. What does it mean by a brute force? Yes, brute force means great force. He The drawer flew open. After the drawer, like punched it with his fist the drawer flew open to reveal a small space underneath a shallow space underneath and inside it there was a small box a small black tin box and it had a letter on it it had a letter on it and it said Jim's last letter Jim's Jim's last letter received on January 25th 19 15. To be buried with me when the time comes. Buried with me? It should be buried with me in my grave. That means when the time comes it, when I die. When I die. To be buried with me when the time comes. I knew as I did, it was wrong of me to open the box. The other thought that it was, I did wrong. I didn't, I sh like, I sh shall not open the box. I should have not been opened the box. But the curiosity got the better of my scruples. What does it mean by scruple? You are in a, what? Your, uh, like, your feeling, your gut feeling. That is called scruples. Your inner mind asked you to, like, open the box, right? It usually does. The other have usually have this problem. Okay? Inside the box, there was an envelope. The address read, Miss Jane McPherson, 
twelve copper beeches, Brit Pot Dorset. I took out the letter and unfolded it. It was written in pencil and dated at the top. December 26th, 1914. Inside the box there was the letter and the address wrote Mrs. Jim McPherson. Uh, Jim McPherson's wife, that means Connie McPherson's, uh, 12 Copper Beach. It's an address 12 Copper Beach on Dorset. It's a place in England. And I took out the letter and unfolded it. Okay. It was written in pencil. It was written in pencil. And it have date at the top named December 26, 1914. After the day of Christmas on 1914. So hope you all understood that part. Please like try to make small questions on this part and then if you have any doubt please don't forget to ask on the comment section okay and I shall reply on it. So this is first part is over. Let's get into the second part on the next video. Bye.